Hola. So, as you can tell, my hair is straight and my camera fell over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. support, support. Okay. Yes, I'm having a straight hair day, not by choice for once. I got a haircut. Can you tell? No, you can't because it's on my straight hair, which means that it doesn't look like normal. Also, key point of interest, apparently we missed a spot here, buddy. If you're gonna straighten it all the way, do it right. Um, yeah, I hate straight hair for me now. I used to like it a lot, and now I don't because it's just a lot of work. And straight bangs suck. Like, what, what do you, you have an, I don't know. Ask him. Maybe he knows. Who's him? Who's ever beside you? Ask him. Go ask him now. Uh, yeah. So, I got my hair cut, as I mentioned, by a new person. My last haircut lady was, like, 60. And then... Today, I went to the horror lady, and there was, first of all, she talked in third person. She's like, oh, are you here to see Bold? And we're like, mm-hmm. She's like, she'll be right with you. Turns out, she was Bold. So that was weird. Then I thought, oh, someone else. I will be cutting my hair. So I got really interesting. Gonna do a visual aid. Well, poops. Oh, they next to me. So I had my book out, and I was reading. And I waited, when all of a sudden this woman came in, and her hair was that of a tabby cat. It was, like, orange with, like, splats of blonde and uh that's not cool ever like red and blonde do not go together I hate to break to any of you guys who think that's cool and she was like 70 years old with like shaved head red and blonde it was bad so i was like oh crap oh crap she's gonna cut my hair oh crap oh crap and um yeah you can when you have curly hair hair cutting experiences are a thing to dread Actually, just haircuts. I hate haircuts because no one knows how to cut my hair, and it's really annoying. And I've switched haircut ladies probably over 20 times, and yeah, I'm really picky, and uh, no one does it right. And I don't know if this lady did it right yet or not because she didn't do it curly, but the ends are really straight. I don't know if I will enjoy that. We'll see you tomorrow when I wash all this crap out of my head. <laughs> So speaking of tabby cats, because I called that lady a tabby cat, I will tell you a story. Are you ready, my children? Sit down, snuggle up, get your warm glasses of milk. Aunt Jenna's here to tell you a tale, a tale of hope and joy. Here we go. Yesterday, I was arriving home from my studies when, by chance, I saw out of the corner of my eye a small figure in the woods, because I lived near the woods, not even exaggerating. So, a small figure was near the woods. A dark face peered from behind a tree, and I thought to myself, what strange beast is this? <gasps> Turns out it was some beast that no one has ever seen before. It looked like a black cat from the angle of its face that I saw, peering from amongst the tree trunk. But, as I approached the creature, it came out and revealed that it was not simply a black cat, but a black and orange cat. Uh, but it was a special cat, and um, the reason why it is special, because it was not a usual orange. It was... Ooh, <coughs> it was this orange. Oh, that's horrible. Let's, let's try to change the light. Really bright. It, this, this is not... Think of a Cheeto. That orange. And it was mixed in 
with the black, but not like a tabby or a calico. It was swirly like paint, paint swirls, or a Van Gogh painting, or ice cream swirls everywhere. And that's when I knew he was magic. He had big green eyes, not yellow, green, like a tree. He was beautiful. So I did what every adult would do, and I chased this cat across my lawn, and he disappeared into the glen, never to be heard from. Or was he? Later that evening, after doing dishes for fifteen minutes to earn my allowance, I heard my mother exclaim, Come to the living room, there's something you would love to see. My curiosity arose, and I stumbled upon into the room of the living to find the very same cat from earlier that day, staring into my living room window with eyes that knew all the secrets of the ancient realm. He was beautiful, but mysterious. So I did what any responsible person would do, and jumped out of my house and chased him. But I couldn't find him. He disappeared. I didn't even see him leave the window. And that's when I knew he was not a cat, but a mystical being guarding my home from evil spirits and bad juju. And then I gave him the name, which is the most regal name in all the lands. Zarfurst, the King of Cosmos. He is a beautiful thing. And I know, even now, if I never see him again, that he is always keeping one of those giant green eyes upon me and my family, because we have been blessed by the dark and black cat. So yeah, I saw a cool cat yesterday, and that was cool. And um, that's my life update, um, haircut and cool caps. That might be the video title, or it might be something completely not to do with it. You're gonna have to see, I'm gonna see, we're gonna, what's gonna happen? I don't know, do you know? I don't know, ask him.